Welcome back everybody, this is Always back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I edit videos using Adobe Premium Pro. I just recorded this video and I was going to upload to my YouTube channel, which is a different one, it's a, it's a Urdu based Pakistani channel. So I was going to edit this video and I thought I should be sharing my knowledge of Adobe Premium Pro with you guys. So this is a video that we're going to be editing, so I'm going to open Adobe Premium Pro and uh, let's have a look how I edit and I'm just not going to edit or you know cut pieces of this video in parts, so it's just going to be straight up video, whatever I do, you guys will be uh, seeing that. So this might be a long video, I'm going to take it from scratch and I'll just edit this video. So this is what you see when you start Adobe Premium Pro for the first time and I'm going to click on a new project and here I will just say uh, how to become a web developer. That's just the a, a name of my project. Right now here you see the location okay and I want to change this to make sure that it's a GPU acceleration. So I have a very good graphics card in my PC, so I'll just select that. So it'll help me to you know, render uh, this video faster. So I'll click OK, and it's going to generate a new project for me, and hopefully I'll see Adobe Premium Pro right here. All right, so let me zoom in. So this is Adobe Premium Pro, guys. Now here we have a tab, so on the top, assembly, editing, color, effects, audio, title, library. So I'm going to stick to editing because I'm going to be editing the video first. Okay, so there is a project browser. Okay, I think you guys will find it hard because it's a 4K and probably find it a bit hard to see what I'm doing here. But yeah, probably I'll, I'll zoom in and, and do some editing here. Alright, so here you click on this media browser guys and here you will see the directories of your computer. I'm going to go and find that video. But I'm going to make it very very easy. I'm actually going to just click and then drag and drop to the timeline. It's going to import and I won't have to do anything to be able to import, uh, you know. Okay, so here's the video. I'm actually going to pause or actually going to... Uh, not pause the volume but just going to reduce the volume so it doesn't interrupt with the current recording I'm doing right now. So here I'm going to start using the shortcut keys. I like to use shortcut keys uh, but first before I start editing anything I'll show you a few shortcut keys. So I'm going to press plus button on the keyboard which will let me zoom in to my uh, timeline and I could see where I start talking. So I'll press L to forward, press K to pause, press J to rewind, okay? And also you want to, you know, uh, mark in and mark out, that would be from I and mark out would be from O. So I'll just press K here, press O here and I go all the way back and then, you know, I press uh, actually colon then it will remove that. So let's do control Z, let's run from the start, I press I. I'll let it go, press K, and then I'll press O here. In here, I press this uh, quotation button, and that will actually remove that part from the video and also push my video to the left as well. Okay, so the first thing what I do is, I wanna get rid of this green screen here. I wanna put a background, uh, which will look nice. So first of all, let's select this. We're gonna go to a libraries, actually effects, and then here we'll select uh, a chroma key effect here. So I kind of forget what was that, but uh, let me just find out. That was uh, in the video effects, I guess, and that would be inside. Uh, I think that would be inside key and that's uh, ultra key all right there you go that's ultra key i'm going to click and drag and drop it on my timeline on the video i'll select that now and i go to effects control now here you see a video effects and we have this ultra key assigned okay i'm going to click on this and i'm going to select the green color and that will uh, basically remove the green color for me 
and then I'll just use the alpha color of the alpha channel that's a lot of noise there guys so I'm gonna use this uh, aggressive model still there's a lot of noise there so if you are using a chroma key you gotta make sure that you have a really really good camera and you have a really bright full ray recording so you won't have to face these problems later on so I'm gonna do something as a modification here so let's just increase this transparency no no this is a button to reset it uh, and just bear in mind this is not really uh, it's going to, I'm not gonna edit this video guys it's just straight recording it's kind of a live session so pedestal that will help me to get rid of uh, a lot of noise there okay the pedestal uh, pedestal work so let's change the channel to composite and let's press it okay now uh, a video is looking good the green color has been uh, removed now you see the corners there we want to get rid of those corners as well so for that I will use this opacity so I'll click on opacity and I'm going to use this pen it's a free draw and then I will just draw from somewhere here draw here and then draw on a corner actually not there actually so we want to move this here and then draw 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 the corner draw here and take it all the way all right let's bring it out guys and then we'll take it all the way to the corner bring it down and then click there okay now here we want to move few things outside so we make sure that we cover every single thing there and this is good as well also take it out take this vertex out as well now here I'm gonna go back to effects control and I'm going to click on inverted Do you see that it's going to remove that part so I'm just gonna have to invert that all right so the video is looking good now it has all the chroma key done there is a bit of problem here in the chair you can see uh, I should have removed that chair guys but unfortunately it's there now I can't really do much about it but here in my arm here that's another issue there so uh, yeah uh, I can't fix it anymore so I might have to you know upload the video as it is now the next thing what we want to do is I'm just going to move this up and I'm going to find a uh, I find a background image which I could use for, for this video so let me pause the video I'll bring I'll find a background video and then I'll show you guys okay I found uh, I found a, an image which I can use and I'm going to you know lock this thing up and then I'm gonna just increase the size of that now this is looking right but we can you know double click on that and then just try to modify that image there that's a huge huge image so I want to find somewhere it looks natural it should look natural Derek so let me actually zoom out a bit so I could see the image so here we say go 25% and when I click here and I'll just bring this out somewhere here let's zoom in fit again and let's see what's how it looks like probably a bit down yep that looks okay and maybe I want to make myself a little bit smaller here so click on this lock button double click on myself that will open here but I don't want them to I don't want to see that there but I want to click here and let's just make myself a bit smaller I guess and let's put myself now nah, actually that was that was alright okay so all right so this is looking okay now um, yeah I guess I can actually make that thing a bit more smaller there so let's just click here and then make it 50% let's make the picture a little bit like this and I'm gonna bring this thing down a 
that's looking okay now, I guess. Alright, that's looking okay, guys. And this is the problem there. Uh, the actual. Now, nah, I, I think it's looking good. So I'm just gonna increase this all the way there. And I'm just going to have a look what's going on. Now, when I use the camera, uh, if it was a real picture, then you know that would be a bit blurry. So, how do we fix that? So, we fix that by selecting that, and we're gonna go and find an effect called Gaussian Blur. So, I'll type blur, and that will give me uh, a Gaussian Blur, this one. I'm gonna click and drag it all over here, and then let's increase the thing there so that would actually be okay right now this looking okay this looks like a really natural right, this is looking natural guys now we do some color grading so click on this color palette and here you will see a bit more options related to your uh, you know color stuff so here I'm going to go and lock this up, unlock this one, click it, and then I'm going to actually, because the background is pretty yellowish, so for So what I've done so far is actually brought my uh, thing there. So let me actually. Oh, that's the problem there. You see, that top thing is not really right. So we want to click on this uh, pen. Actually, not this one. We want to click on this mask, and let's see what we have. So let's stop it. Select the opacity mask here, and this time we're gonna take this up here. Take this up here, okay, and that should fix the problem now. But still, this is a problem there. So, what I want to do, I want to just move myself up and also increase the size there. So, maybe this will fix. Okay, now again, uh, we're having a problem here, that's like a, a chair there. Okay, that's... <laughs> I don't really care. So guys, this is how I added a try and then I use Premium Pro, but uh, we might want to do some proper tutorial later on how to do this, okay? Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. So, hang on, last, last thing I would like to show you would be how to export this so I'll click on file menu click on export click on media shortcut key is control M and here I will select this medium bit rate and then I will select this H24264 uh, format at the bottom we'll use I will make sure that I have this uh, uh, my graphics card rendering this so simply click on export or you could use the you know premium pro or adobe uh, media encoder software but i'll just click on this export and this is going to start exporting so here you gotta make sure one thing that you don't have any uh, uh marketing market because it's only going to